welcome to this video. And what I want to have a look at in this one is why is the twilight on Mars longer than Earth? So if we're not familiar with what twilight is, it's when the sun has gone below the horizon, so it's no longer visible in the sky, yet the sky itself is still illuminated. So you've got a period of time from when the sun sets below the horizon to when you get full darkness. And that's the period of twilight, really. So the actual definition is the illumination of the lower atmosphere by the sun when it's gone below the horizon. So we want to have a look at why Mars has a longer twilight than Earth. Well, let's first look at Earth. So we've got the planet and then we've got the atmosphere. Now, at sunset, the sun is at the horizon. So we can see the sun pretty much at the bottom, um, just about to go, the, go below the horizon. And then as it goes below the horizon, we can no longer see the sun, but the light is still passing through the atmosphere and the atmosphere is still illuminated. So we still see a reasonably bright sky. And as the sun goes further around the Earth, it gets darker and darker until no more light can make it into the sky and we get a nice dark sky. So the same thing happens with Mars. Mars has got an atmosphere, um, not quite as significant as Earth, but at sunset, you will see the sun at the horizon and then it will disappear below the horizon and it will go through the atmosphere as before. And you get an illumination of that atmosphere, which you can then see until it's completely around the other side of the planet and you then have nice dark skies. So what's happening different with Mars than on Earth? Well, Mars has a lot of dust in its atmosphere. So it's got a lot of small dust particles. And as that sunlight passes through the atmosphere, the light is scattered off those dust particles and it actually is able to go further around the planet. So it scatters around the planet. And what that causes is a lengthening of that twilight period. Because if more sunlight can get around the other side and illuminate the atmosphere, then you actually see a much longer twilight period. So that's what happens there. And there you've got a nice image taken by one of the rovers as the sun is just setting on Mars. And you'll notice that actually it's got a bit of a blue colour. And again, that comes from the scattering of the dust particles as the, the sun is setting, which is kind of the other way around to what we would see on Earth. But the interesting thing here is you can work out the amount of dust in the atmosphere by you know, observing the twilight on the planet. So we can work out just how much dust is there just by what's happening with the twilight periods. And interestingly, we get a similar thing happening on Earth. So if we have a large volcanic eruption, that, that will send a lot of dust into the atmosphere. And we get a similar effect there. We can actually get some really unusual colours in our sunsets, as well as a lengthening of that twilight period. So it's the same sort of thing, really, but with volcanoes. And it's basically because Mars has small dust particles in its atmosphere, which the Earth generally does not have. So thank you for watching.